So, I'm ready. I needed a life change. And so I had a pub, a very successful pub in Denham, in Buckinghamshire, and I decided that I needed to move into the country and find something a little bit different to do. And I looked in Cornwall, uh, there was nothing there, and then um, I saw the Drayton Crown. And the minute I drove in, I knew it was right. I, I drove in and I just thought this is the place for me. And it ticked all the boxes, accommodation, um, great garden, village location, um, and just it just oozed business and fun. Um, yeah, so that was my ethos of coming down here. How important are staff to you? Very more, more importantly, customers. People often say, who are more important, customers or staff? And everyone says, customers. It's not, it's your staff. They're your front. They're the ones that keep you going. They're the ones that give you your image, gives you your service plan. Um, so you've got to choose really carefully. And my way is, would I go out for a drink with them? If I'd still take a drink with them, then they're probably in to work on the bar um, and waiting staff. Um, and again, you know, you've got to have passion, people who want to do the job. This is a vocation. People think it's just a, a holiday job. It's not, it's a vocation job. People really want to do this. And there are some very talented chefs, managers, barmen out there. Um, and you've got to choose them wisely. You've got to choose them wisely. It was interesting because I was having dinner with a mate of mine and he said I was too old to make a change in my life. And that really gave me the, the push to actually say, no, you know what, 39, 39, I wish I was 39, I'm 59. 59 isn't old these days. But it was a big deal, you know, I left all my family, all my friends, sold up, and it was just me and a truck of my furniture moving down to Somerset. So it was a big deal. Um, if I'd thought about it, would I have done it? Sometimes you think, but I just knew I needed a change. And it, it was the right change, it was the right move for me. So how much does mental health have a toll on sort of day-to-day -day life as sort of the boss and landlord of the Drayton Crown? A lot. I think, um, I like to use the word mind health rather than mental health. I think we, we all have mind health. Um, and I have a website called Lads Men Mind, L L M H dot org, and that deals with all all mind health issues. And it can be weight, it can be food, it can be sexuality, it can be addiction, it can be stress, um, and a lot of that you find a lot of drugs, a lot of alcoholism in in catering, especially in the chef world, because there is a very high pressure job. You work in long hours. Um, and I think it's well known with the industry that, you know, there's a lot of mind health issues within catering. Um, I think more so back of house than front of house. Um, and I, I think it's something that's got to be looked at. I find it very difficult. Uh, that's the one thing probably with what I do. I find it very difficult getting up on stage and doing something. The one thing that I've, uh, I've um, come to learn is we never stop learning. You know, you, you think at a certain age, oh, I can't learn anymore. But we never, the day we stop learning is the day that box is locked. very important to get those, again, get the right people around you who can help you grow in the business.